Hi and welcome to the Alaska Sports.TV Year in Review. This year, Alaska Sports TV began a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week, all-Alaska sports channel, and we brought several events in the course of our coverage over the year. We began in March with the Tier 3 Bantam Hockey Tournament held at Treadwell Arena in Juneau, Alaska. It was the first hockey tournament, first hockey game ever streamed live from Juneau, Alaska, from the Treadwell Arena. We covered most of the games, and there were some great games, some great action, including perhaps what may be the best hockey game ever played in Treadwell Arena in Juneau, a triple overtime battle between Fairbanks and Juneau with a scoreless tie, finally decided by one goal, sudden death overtime, by the eventual tournament champions, FAHA of Fairbanks. It was a great tournament. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of that action. Next, we covered baseball, and if your name was Nathan, you had a great year in baseball this year. The Region 5 tournament was held at Juno Douglas and featured teams from Sitka, the defending state champions, Petersburg, Prince of Wales was invited, and two teams from, Ketch from Juno, that would be the Thunder Mountain Falcons and the Juno Douglas Crimson Bears. One player from Ketchikan was able to achieve something very difficult, the player of the year, and he's only a junior, and his name is Nathan Bonk. He had an outstanding year and convinced even skeptical voters in Anchorage of his potential when he hit a towering home run in the state tournament. Nathan Bonk, Player of the Year for Ketchikan, Alaska.
the other Nathan was Nathan Klein, who set a Juno Douglas High School record for the most wins, seven without a defeat, with an ERA of point one two. He gave up one run in the course of the of the year and faced a no decision, and that was to catch a can. Ironically, the two Nathans would only face each other twice and was able to dig up some of the archive footage from Ketchikan when the two played early on in the season. So first we'll take a look at some highlights of Nathan and then the two at-bats between Nathan Bonk and Nathan Klein. Three. wants and delivers the pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike three. Swing. So the senior Nathan got the better of the junior Nathan, but Nathan Bonk's team would get revenge by winning the state, the Southeast Championship in Juno on a game ending triple play, which we'll see later in the, in the broadcast. Next, it was on to the American Legion, and Nathan pitched well for the American Legion squad as well with a .88 ERA. They were to finish third overall. Alaska Sports TV was in Anchorage and covered every one of the games, broadcast and streamed live over the internet. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the tournament.
last Alaska sports turn to football. And the story in southeast Alaska was the rise of the Thunderbird Falcons. They were led by a strong offensive line and running back, Quan Bear Clark, who was impressive with his season-long consistency producing great plays and great runs. It was also the first year that Thunder Mountain was able to defeat its crosstown rival, the Juleugas Crimson Bears. It was a great season overall. We have some highlights from Quan Bear Clark and the Thunder Mountain Falcons. Later, some Juno Highlands. Next, AlaskaSports.tv will be at the Christmas Holiday Classic in Juneau, Alaska to cover the basketball tournament. So be sure to tune in to watch some live action. Alaska Sports was also covering softball, soccer, track and field, and have started this year's hockey coverage with live broadcast. And we have some highlights from 2015. This is my selection as the top highlights of the year so far. We'll take a look.
Thanks for joining us and tune in to alaskasports.tv for live action and a 24 hour 7 highlights only channel and full game replays of sporting events captured throughout the year in Alaska. Thanks again.